This is a demonstration video about using a head-mounted eye tracker combined with a video-based hand gesture recognition engine to interact with objects in the environment. A low-cost head-mounted eye tracker can be built using off-the-shelf components. The system consists of safety glasses, batteries, an eye camera, and an scene camera or field-of-view camera. The wireless eye camera and the associated software monitor the position of the pupil on the image and an infrared reflection on the iris. The vector difference between the pupil center and the glint reflection can be tracked during a calibration procedure to build a model of the user's case. The calibration procedure consists on the user looking at a number of points on the scene and marking them on the scene camera video stream while the user fixates on them. Once the calibration procedure is completed, the gaze estimation algorithm is able to determine the point of regard of the user in the environment. We use the open source Hytham project for mobile gaze estimation and extended it with a hand gesture recognition module that enables specific interaction with objects in the environment through gaze and hand gestures. The hand gesture recognition module is able to detect a hand in front of the scene camera and the number of fingers that the hand is holding up. We define a gesture as holding the hand in front of the scene camera with a preset number of fingers hold it up for a predefined dwell time and moving it in a particular direction up, down, left or right. The hand gesture recognition worked well for natural skin color but using a latex glove of a given color improves performance. The system recognizes objects in the environment by detecting binary beacons associated to them through the scene camera in the glasses. To interact with an object in the environment, the user of the glasses needs to first look at the binary beacon that identifies the object and then perform the gesture. In this way, only that particular object in the environment will react to the hand gesture. In the following video frames, the system is used to turn on and off a set of light emitting diodes on a breadboard. Next, we show how to use the system to interact with a computer in the environment by for instance minimizing a program window or bringing it back up. Finally, we show the system being used to interact with a robot. The number of fingers being held up convey the extent of the displacement or turn to be performed by the robot.
This concludes this demonstration video about using a set of gaze tracking glasses and hand gestures to interact with objects in the environment.